Okay. Three, two. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a damn you Hollywood extra, DYH extra, something. It's going to look neat. This will be the. It'll be. It'll be amazing. Uh, we are doing <laughs> another trailer reaction. <laughs> trailer reaction. You've seen us do a few of these in the past. We're doing a. We're doing one uh, again here, and oh goodness, I don't. I have no idea what awaits me here. Uh, I've seen people talk about this trailer. Uh, it's only been out for a couple days, and and uh, you know, real quick, Mark Radlich, how you doing? You ready to talk? Uh, you ready to talk this crazy trailer tonight? Uh, I am. I there's there's certainly a lot to discuss here. Apparently, this trailer has done pissed off the internet, which mm -hmm. I feel like the the internet gets pissed off every other day for some weird reason or another. But um, yeah, th this one th this one has caused some pretty negative reactions. Now, Alexis Haina from Honeysuckle Rose Creations, she was the one that suggested we take a look at that. Now, I, I want to ask Alexis, uh, my goodness, is it just because it's so bad you wanted to have the opportunity to take a look at it and react? <laughs> okay, there are movies that have bad trailers that end up being good movies. Mm -hmm. I, 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 you know, I, I do get a little annoyed when everyone's like, "Oh, that trailer looks like crap." I remember when the first trailer for Infinity War dropped, and everyone was ragging on how Thanos looked. Mm. And you know, it's like we just, oh, we just finished wrapping up Ed Game, but I think one of the, the one of the few things that never came up was just how freaking amazing Thanos did look. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, you, 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 you don't usually judge trailers, but this is just. Uh, well, I don't know. It, it, it looks it's so bizarre. It, it 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 doesn't even come across as oh, what the hell were they thinking? That looks terrible. But more like, what the hell were they thinking? No, seriously, I really want to dissect what they were thinking. This needs to be analyzed. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put myself out there, and maybe this this takes away from my credibility on the internet, such as it is. But I didn't think there was anything wrong with it. I was fine with my only pro honestly, my problem with it wasn't Sonic or it wasn't the way he looked or what appears to be the plot or what apparently, according to what I've just learned, uh, I've been handed a piece of paper that says, "Wasn't this the same exact plot as Hop?" Um, yeah, get it. <laughs> Thank you, Alexis, for feeding me that one. Uh, <laughs> my problem was fucking Jim Carrey. Like, okay, I all right. Okay, so let, let, go ahead. I was just going to say, formal introduction of what the hell we're talking about. <laughs> that is Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, two th so this thing's coming out 2019. Yeah, that's this, this year. This year. I, I, this... I'll, I'll consult the schedule, but yes. Okay, the official trailer that got released. How long ago was this, Alexis? Like two days ago? Yeah, something like that. Uh, let's clarify. Who here has played the Sonic games? Oh, you know, I had an original. Games, newer games? I had an original yeah. Genesis with Sonic. Um, so yeah, I was I was on board with the uh, with the first uh, Sonic slash Genesis. So you, you 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 got the like first generation Genesis with Sonic in packaged. I don't know if that was first generation or second. I know it was. Uh, at one point, it came with Altered Beast. Yes, that's the then, one I got. But I also okay. had Sonic the Hedgehog when that came out. I was going to say the one that I bought came with Sonic the Hedgehog, and I, you know, you, we weren't the richest of families so you could you had I, to make a choice by the way rise from your grave <laughs> uh, yes <laughs> rise from your grave um uh, you had to make a choice when you were uh, you know going from the 8-bit to 16-bit era unless you were like you know money bags mcgee you had to figure out where you're going to go sega genesis or where you're going to go super nintendo and i went sega genesis i don't know why i think it was they're advertising in in magazines and comics uh, and how they were just kind of they were kind of like the edgier the edgier console Nintendo you know felt like it was a little bit more kid friendly and the Sega Genesis kind of pushed the boundaries so hence their mascot that we're getting here in this movie the edgy the you know the the speedster Sonic the Hedgehog I loved playing this game straight I, from the speed force <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Um, he, you know, I played all three. I, I can remember playing all three uh, iterations of the game. There are plenty of other spinoffs and stuff. Sonic and Knuckles. Sonic. I just listened to a podcast today breaking down Sonic Spinball. 
you remember that <laughs> game. Um, but yeah, that is, I love this character, and it's a big part of my childhood. Now, I haven't yeah. watched the trailer, so Alexis, you, on, you, asked, the, okay. you asked the question. Let me answer you now. It comes out November 8th alongside Dr. Sleep, which is a, bo- a movie based on the Stephen King novel from 2013. Uh, Last Christmas, which is a Paul Feig-directed movie, holiday comedy, starring Emma Thompson, Bryony e. Kimmings... No, wait, they, they wrote the screenplay, sorry. Amelia Clark, Henry Golding, Michelle Yeoh, and Emma Thompson. Okay, so okay. that's Last Christmas. And Midway, direct, which is on the schedule for, for review... Directed by Independence director Roland Emmerich. Ooh, I, I, yeah, Independence Day. Yes. Roland yeah. Emmerich is still getting work? Apparently so, so. Midway is an American war film. Ah. Uh, the film stars Woody Harrelson, Luke Evans, Mandy Moore, <clears throat> Patrick Wilson, Ed Screen, Aaron Eckhart, Nick Jonas, <clears throat> Darren Chris, <laughs> <laughs> and Dennis Quaid. So that's an interesting weekend for Sonic the Hedgehog to go out to uh, to debut. And I was is, hoping that, and it's sandwiched between Terminator and Charlie's Angels. By the way, oh, okay. Term, the All week right. before is Terminator Dark Fate, and the week after that is Charlie's Angels. Okay. That's what we like to call a tent pole. Well, then, uh, Alexis, you asked us that question about familiarity with the gaming portion of Sonic the Hedgehog. How about you? Now, I was actually an Nintendite. Uh, we didn't have the uh, Sega Genesis because, yeah, it was one or the other, and I went with Nintendo because I was a big Mario fan. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing, by the way. It's been raining on and off here in the Midwest, and it's kicking up my allergies. <coughs> but um, most of my friends had Segas, and I went over and played. Uh, Sonic 2, I believe, was the game that ended up most being played. So I've always had an affinity for Sonic and Tails, and that music when Sonic starts to drown still makes my blood pressure rise. <laughs> womp, 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 womp. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's good stuff right there. Um, yeah. Well, okay, I guess we're going to get into this. I mean, I, I like I said, I, I anticipated a lot of... I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm anticipating not being wowed by this trailer, but I have not watched all of it all the way through. So okay. I'm well, going to probably turn it up for disclosure, I showed it to my kids. They are five and eight, and I have a son who is obsessed with video games. My five-year-old thinks anything that emanates from a video... He's already... Hey, Jesse, he's my son. He's already excited for the Minecraft movie. It don't come out for another Whoa. few years. Wow. <laughs> oh, boy. You make oh. a Minecraft movie. They are. You know, the Minecraft movie is actually supposed to come out this year, but it got delayed until, I think, either 2020 or 2021. I don't remember. Have you? Has he had a chance to play the Netflix? Um, oh, uh, Minecraft story mode. The what now? You turn okay. When you get on the Netflix, there is an interactive Netflix, much like Bandersnatch, except it's Minecraft and it's the uh, Minecraft story mode game that came out a while back. So he can play that game actually through Netflix. It's pretty interesting because really, you can, yeah. Turn, turn him loose on it. He'd probably have a good time. It's yeah, a lot of fun. I might have to sit him down, sit him down and, and figure that out, and let's see if he'll get obsessed with it. But, yeah, like he's they're excited for the Angry Birds movie, which has got a sequel coming out this year. He's excited. <laughs> he's excited for this. So um, just this is yet another example of kids have no taste. <laughs> <laughs> All for right, the record, well. I just pulled this up on YouTube. Uh, 20 million views for... Four hundred and sixty thousand thumbs down. Ooh, ooh! All right, I our... think this may be outdoing the two thousand sixteen Ghostbusters. I was just oh. going to bring it up, like, okay, now who? Now who are we? Now is this an example of toxic masculinity? Is it, what? Are, what is? There's what, not, are we, there's what are we getting no. angry about here? Are we? Uh, are we down with hedgehogs? I don't understand. What's the problem? What? what and is, this is a oh, this is Paramount Pictures. This isn't Sony, so maybe they won't totally fuck up. Uh, Fuck up the marketing on this. Robert Winfrey is buried in those comics or those comments somewhere. <laughs> talking about CGI, guaranteed. <laughs> no, um, we haven't heard from Robert in a, since since our review of of uh, Endgame. I'm pretty sure he saw what Sonic looked like and just killed himself. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm concerned. <laughs> Someone reach out to Robert. Send a deputy to his house. We need a well check. That's 
said the people had white coats. They're probably he's probably gonna need them. <laughs> yeah. All right, Johnny, hit it. Yeah, let's go. I'm gonna count it down three to one, and then we're gonna hit play on this here uh, trailer, and we're gonna we're gonna do this thing. All right, here we go. Sonic the Hedgehog 2019 official trailer. In three, two, one, go. Or not. I was like, my video's not... I, I, maybe I have to do it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, please, if you would. <laughs> uh, I guess I started the room, right? Yeah, let me go ahead and I'll, I'll uh, count it down again. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Go now? Go now. What? Rise from your grave. Oh, okay. Well, I was supposed to... Was I, was I supposed to go at one or went all right now? Just kidding. <laughs> all right, here we go. Go. Uh, okay. And we see a long stretch of road, and up oh, the flash passes past the cop. Who's James oh, Marsdale? No, I just noticed the car says Green Hill Sheriff. Wasn't Green Hills the name of level one? Yep. In the Green Hill Zone. Yeah. See, yep. this is not terrible writing at all. Um, all right, so here we have a scene from Return of the Jedi. Get it? No. All right. on and now this the first look at the bizarrely proportioned hedgehog. Why is he? I don't understand. What's wrong with him? Somebody, somebody, I was reading some comments about this because I honestly was befuddled as to what, what, you know, like, what's the issue? Do we have other blue uh, anamorphic hedgehogs that we're comparing him to? <laughs> I don't, like, what's the problem? And somebody was like, it looks like a kid in footy pajamas. All right. So here's what I have a problem with. Once again, they get Jim Carrey to overact and chew scenery and inst instead of like just being a menacing bad guy he's an asshole this is this literally he looked like he just walked up the set of liar liar and grew a mustache underneath his loincloth oh wait a second he just pulled a rock on his ass yes he did oh oh god those teeth it just looks so bizarre <laughs> Am I alone in thinking that's damn funny, him going meow? <laughs> you know, for what it's worth, I have nothing against the voice actor who's playing Sonic that's been works, uh, who I most recently, uh, he played one of, um, one of the nephews in the DuckTales reboot. I want to say Dewey, though I, I have nothing against him doing the voice acting. He sounds good. And yeah, it's clear they just got Jim Carrey and they just said, Jim, j just do what you do best. Right. I don't think Jim Carrey's playing a role. I think he's... Okay, that, the portal thing. I, I asked online, because I have not played recent Sonic games. There is no game where the rings turn into portals. Where the hell did that come from? There isn't... The rings don't, but at the... At the end of the level, if you got, like, if you did really well, you could jump into that portal and hit the bonus stage. Um, I don't know if you remember that. Like after you after you finish it, you could go into like a 3D level. I remember that being part of I think part of two or three. Um, okay, it kills me because this is actually a funny joke, and then they ruin it. The extra lines like, "Is that your? Do you have your child in your bag?" Goes, no. Well, I do have a child, but it's not mine. That's funny. And, <laughs> okay, and then we get this, well, I, which I. I can't help but feel that the fit that the they actually added that on at the last minute, saying, "Okay, he's going to look something like Robotnik." Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that they went out of there. It's like after some footage got put together, and somebody somebody raised a hand, like, "Are you ever going to look like the actual character from the game? Because if not, then please change his name to something else." By the way, how awesome does Crawl look? I haven't watched the trailer yet. Oh my god, a category. <laughs> A Category 5 hurricane and a bunch of hungry alligators in Florida. Hot damn! I might go see oh, this. Oh, so it's a, it's a uh, child of Sharknado. It's you like know, carnage to Venom. Everybody has said that to me today. That's amazing. <laughs> every, every time I brought up Crawl, they're just like, oh, so it's Sharknado. All right. <laughs> All right, well, so Sonic the Hedgehog, Jesse. Isn't it great? Uh, okay. So... The one thing that I'm taking away from this that I just don't understand is, like, why does Sonic have these electric hairs that he's leaving around? Because he's That's... from the Speed Force. Look, we, haven't we learned from the you, Justice sir. League movie and from the Flash TV show that if you are a speedster, you generate electricity? Which corner 
have you not sat in in the past week because you need to go there. <laughs> that we're, we're sending you I to the corner again. Point, we, okay, yeah. At this point, we need to go send a freaking octagon or something because we're running out of corners. <laughs> I that's damn I funny. Don't, I don't understand the whole electric hair thing, I, I, and I couldn't catch why in the world other than I have no idea. He's a speedster. But did they mention anything about the Chaos Emeralds at all? No. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, they're basically playing... Okay, from what I can gather from what they're talking, A, this is supposedly taking place in our world, despite them calling it Green Hills. This is our world. This is not Sonic's world. Secondly, the way that Robotnik was talking to, I think that was the bad guy from Venom that is playing his assistant in which okay. case God bless us. <laughs> he said Venom yet see, again about, <laughs> like, seriously we can't freaking escape that movie <laughs> <laughs> he was saying something like our job is to capture this thing whatever it is so it's like so is this like a true origin film that Robotnik has no has never met Sonic yet hmm now, they didn't mention about him, like, coming over from a different world or anything, or a different universe, or a different reality. That isn't something that they said, did they? The only wor- line we got was something effective. Bottom line, I'm going to have to save your planet. Okay. All right, so clearly he ran from another dimension. <laughs> Much like the Speed Force! <laughs> oh, dear Thank God. you. <laughs> I don't know. Um, man. I- uh, hang on. Hang on. I'll, I'll, do, I'll just do it for you. There's the old horse. <laughs> Knew it was coming. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to take my kids to see this. Okay, that's just probably going to be okay. Maybe, maybe in Netflix. Maybe can you, you know, show them the trailer at least and engage their reaction before you make a final decision? I yeah, I could I could do that. I mean, I, I they could be all excited and hey, let's go to see it, and then I'll still ain't going to go fucking see it. <laughs> 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 That's just the way it is. Like, but now, I mean, I don't know. I'm not excited for it. I there's, I, I don't. Okay, the, you the video game. This is not made for an adult audience. This is a children's movie. I understand. Okay, okay. I understand that. I, uh, Alexis, video game to movie, uh, fran- you know, video game franchises to movies. You know how horrible. Those things have come across in the past. Can you think of anything recently that you know went from video a video game franchise to the movies in some fashion that actually succeeded? Rampage. Okay, Rampage was good. I will give you that. I like that. Caleb liked. Well, uh, yeah, I give Rampage uh, credit because at least they were able to take it with the grain of salt that they knew they were going to have to. Hang on a second. Video game movies. Yep, I'm doing the same thing. It- yeah, I'm, it's like I'm, and Rock Rock had to redeem himself because he was in Doom, and Doom sh- shit to bed. It wasn't any good. No. Um, yeah. I was going to say Warcraft, Assassin's Creed, Angry Birds, all the Resident Evil movies. Okay, now I'm not going to lie. I actually do like the first Street Fighter film, and I do like the original Mortal Kombat, but those oh, are yeah. serious pleasures. All right, the of uh, the first. The last Tomb Raider wasn't that bad. I mean, we reviewed it. Nobody heard you guys, and I sound like a loser. <laughs> but... <laughs> I liked it. I enjoyed myself at the yeah, theater. The I mean, two, it, wasn't, two... it wasn't spectacular, but it was good. The first Angela Jolie Tomb Raider was fine. The new Tomb Raider was fine. It's the one in the, the Cradle of Life is the one that sucks. Um, some of the Resident Evils, I think, are better than others. Uh, not all now, of them are great. Warcraft, I thought, was fine. Assassin's Creed here... was terrible. See if you can pare down the list and go with, like, the main character as being completely CGI. Okay. Uh, Angry Birds is probably one. I mean, that's actually animated, though, isn't it? I thought Angry Birds was yeah. funny. So did my kids. So oh, so I guess we'd have to pare it down to, like, uh, CGI slash... Um, oh, what's, what's the word? Uh, I want to say in real life. That's not the case. <laughs> Live action. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Film scholar here, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, I took business, but um, yeah, yeah. Okay, so CGI slash live action. What? What? Uh, how, now check out the that list of movies. Pokemon and... Detective, Detective Pikachu. Oh goodness, that's got the power behind it right there. The yeah. power of Ryan Reynolds. So I, my kids I, can't I, wait for that. I'm excited to see it too. I legit up. 
Well, that's going to be a painful review, though, because you know, you, you know, any positive thing we say at Winfrey is just going to scream bloody murder. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Um, the, okay, here's the list. By the way, here's the, here's the uh, live action list. Okay. So Super Mario Brothers. Well, that's obviously a good one. Oh yeah. Spam. Oh my goodness. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> uh, Double Dragon, Street Fighter, uh, Mortal Kombat. Okay, the first Mortal Kombat. It's not a well-made movie, obviously, but I. It was actually like an enjoyable picture. Oh well, if you're going to like say, hey, take all the Mortal Kombat films and pick which one you like the best. Well, the first one's always going to be my pick. Yeah. It's Mortal, always going to be my okay. pick. Mortal Kombat Annihilation should be sent into space. Or, <laughs> or... <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> um, I've never seen Wing Commander. Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, we talked about already. Resident Evil, the first one wasn't that bad. Uh, Tomb Raider, Cradle of Life, we already said sucked. House of the Dead, Jesse. Never seen it. I know what it's based on, but I've never seen it. Alexis? Wasn't that an Uwe Boll film? <laughs> I think like most of them are. Let me, let me put it this way. I'm looking at the same list as you, uh, Mark, but I uh, moved it to rank by Rotten Tomatoes. Okay. Guess what the highest percentage is, and guess which film's got it? Uh, well, Rampage is at the top. It is, with 52%. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, come That's on. The bar? You can't That's e- the bar? You can't expect <laughs> hoity You can't expect hoity-toity critics to appreciate a movie where giant monsters wreck a city and the rock punches them in the face. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, by oh, the way, in second place is Tomb Raider and in third place is Mortal Kombat. Wow. You, you want to know what's at the bottom of the list? You know what we got a 0% on Rotten Tomatoes? Oh, hold on, hold on. Um, oh my goodness. I used to know like some of the real shitty... Double Dragon. Close, no. Tekken. Tekken? Tekken didn't even make a million dollars. The live action 2009. Well, it says 2009 or 2010. Must be based on which country it was released in. Oh my god! If you if now if you rearrange the list by worldwide box office, so War- Warcraft is at the top, and because it did really well in China, might actually get a sequel. Um, and Rampage is just underneath that. The one that made the least amount of money was something called Postal. In from 2007. That is an oh, okay. Yep. I remember hearing about that. That's an Uwe Boll film that includes a joke about 9/11 in it. Oh gosh! I feel like we need to watch this now. <sighs> I don't know what an Uwe Boll is, by the way. You don't? No. Oh dear God! Look, just go ahead and type his name in the old Google machine and look at how many movies he's made. Okay. Start reading them off. Maybe in another podcast. Um, I told you, <laughs> I only have seven hours left. Um, okay. Oh, that's lesson. right. Sorry. Uwe Bo- Here's a quick lesson. Uwe Boll is a filmmaker who has found a way to exploit German tax laws. So he makes crappy movie after crappy movie. But because of the tax laws he's exploited, he still sees a profit. And he has also been known to call out his critics online and challenge them to boxing matches. Yes. This guy's yes. my it's fucking hero. <laughs> I'm, I'm dedicating an entire month to his movies now. <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Starting with Postal, by the way. Um, all right, now now I gotta see which ones he's worked on. Uwe Boll, who again now is is like my idol. He's also the man who gave us Blood Rain and Alone yeah. in the Dark. Alone in the Dark. So I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm going back here off the wiki. We got House of the Dead, which you just mentioned from 2003. Alone in the Dark, Blood Rain, both from 2005. Uh, Blood Rain Two, Deliverance, Postal. Alone in the Dark 2, Far Cry. Uh, in 2009, apparently, he did a Rampage. That's not that's not the same Rampage. Is it? No. Is a 2009 action film written and directed by Uwe Boll, starring Brendan Fletcher, Michael Perret, Sean Sipos, and Linda Boyd. I don't even know if those are real people. And it received a theatrical release in Germany, though it was released direct-to-video in the rest of the world. All right. All right. Uh, we have... There's a movie called Blubberella. Yes! Why aren't we watching this right now? What the fuck is that, Blubberella? I've got to pull that up and see what in the world. The plop around an, uh, 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 around an <laughs> obese... The fucking, the fucking cover, the fucking poster for this thing. Have you seen uh, it? Are you yeah, looking I'm looking at it. it. It's fucking amazing. Oh, my 
Gosh. The plot revolves around an obese Dampier superhero set in Nazi-occupied Europe. The entire film is a scene-for-scene scene spoof of Blood Rain. All right. So he spoofed his own movie? Uh, yeah. Apparently. What? Oh, my God. Da- assault on Wall Street. Jeez. <laughs> uh, it's the self well, story of a security guard who struggles to pay for his wife's medical bills and loses his investment in 2007-2008 and apparently shoots the fuck out of Wall Street. Why aren't we watching this now? Oh my gosh. Well, I, I, I made, think... Well, he's made a couple of Rampage movies. Yeah, I saw he's a Rampage, Capital yeah. Punishment. Uh, man, I, I'm trying to think of some of the other stuff that he did that really made his name, Like, but I guess House of the Dead was the first, like... Uh, that I can see or that I recognize that was a um, video game to I thought he was involved in like some of the other shit from like the 90s but anyway all right we have I, really got off the page by the way yeah you guys you guys have a podcast to do I gotta go to bed yeah we um, have to talk about Uwe Ball <laughs> <laughs> all right well that was fun killing adventures of Sabrina not mm-hmm. Uwe Ball <sighs> we we had a good time. I mean, I don't know what to expect. Mark, you said you'll probably take the kids. Kids sound like they're excited. I mean, Alexis, are you going to somehow go to the theaters and watch this when it comes out? I have no idea. It's we already saw it. It is interesting. We should have brought this up. Uh, the director for Sonic just came out with a tweet today saying that uh, they are actually going to redesign the character. Apparently, yeah. the outcry from the fans was so bad that they are redoing Sonic's design, and they're going to completely add in or redo the um, the CGI character. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. I, I had heard that they had, were going to do some touch-ups, I guess. I mean, the teeth of the hedgehog look like human teeth, which is kind of, yeah, okay, all right, it's a little weird. Uh, that I was, was going to say, do you know many hedgehogs? Have you examined no, many I heads? I any? sincerely doubt they have human teeth, sir. <laughs> you I, don't. Do you know, though? Anyway. I've got a girlfriend who has a pet hedgehog. Take I'm a look serious. at his teeth. If you want a full report. Well, I don't. I'm not, First of all, I'm not taking the word from anybody who isn't a certified hedgehog dentist. Oh, okay. By the way, for the record, uh, <laughs> if you include the international animated uh video game movies. Pokemon the movie The Power of Us actually is the bar at 60%. Oh. Alright, way to go Pokemon. That was the one that came out last year that has Pikachu actually speaking English for a second, which made waves when a viral video went around of someone recording them in the theater, and you could very clearly hear someone in the background go, what the fuck? (laughs) Uh, Jeff Fowler says, thank you for the support and the criticism. The message is loud and clear, and you aren't happy with the design, and you want changes. It's going to happen. Everyone at Paramount and Sega are fully committed to making this character the best he can be. Yep, you got some work, I think, to do. So, anyway. You know what? I want to go ahead and say this to Paramount and Sega. The character's fine. Leave it alone. Tell the fans to go fuck themselves. Yeah, yeah. And don't have a successful movie. (laughs) I personally think as long as they give them the bigger shoes, I don't care about the face. I just want the bigger shoes and the gloves. I don't like Sonic having white hands for some reason. Yeah. I want the gloves. That was the thing. We, we were used to the glove Sonic. You uh, are. I, I have no know. idea what you two are talking about. Or I, didn't say that. I didn't pay that close attention. Mark in the video <laughs> game. Okay. All right. Let's get out of here. All right. Uh, Alexis, go ahead and just real quick plug some stuff there. Uh. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't know we were going to be doing plugs with the trailer. <laughs> Might as well, damn well, do it. We've been speaking. If we could talk about U- Uve Bowl, we could do plugs. For Are ourselves. we? Because I want to talk about this. <laughs> Will you quit just giving him his opportunity? Uh, should know better. <laughs> yeah, you should. You've been on the show longer. I'm than hosting I an Uve Bowl marathon at my house. You're all invited. Oh, really? <laughs> Are you, bring, are you bringing the Xanax? <laughs> and guacamole cheese, yes. It'll be a lonely <laughs> marathon. <laughs> the Xanax and guacamole cheese will be served, as will be, as will be punch. Hooray. <laughs> Speaking of punchy, go ahead, Alexis. Uh, hope you're dissolving enough painkillers in that punch. <laughs> Honeysuckle Rose Creations, the intersection of geek and chic. We're going to be doing a big month-long spring sale. Dedication on to Uwe Bull. 
bowl. Oh, please don't. <laughs> Can we get some Uwe Bull jewelry going? <laughs> you work on saying his name, and then we'll talk about it, all right? Seriously, you're mispronouncing it. Uh, bowl. U- U- Uwe Bowl. Uwe. 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 All right, can you oh. please make some duvet bowls? Um, <laughs> go ahead. I'm going to shut up now. What was that line from the last podcast? I said I'm going to kill you when you said the line starts to the left. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Take a number. You'll be waiting a while. <laughs> oh, thank you, Loki. Oh, no, sorry. I was reminded of that line from uh, Thor Dark World. <laughs> Okay, so yes, we're going to be doing a month-long sale starting, um, wow, I forgot to clip my calendar, uh, May 5th, uh, 15% off everything in our Etsy and handmade at Amazon stores. Uh, again, Honeysuckle Rose Creations, you can find us on Facebook, uh, Instagram, and Twitter. Okay, very good. Mark, I know we, you got one podcast that's coming out here later, just in a, like after you guys are done here in about an hour and a half. Which what, What's that podcast? Uh, Alexis and Alexis is actually going to stay along and talk to me because she's a glutton for punishment. Uh, yeah, I know. I, what the, I, I need more alcohol. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> We're going to talk the second half of uh, Sabri- part two of Sabrina the Teenage Witch, the chill- uh, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, rather, uh, on Netflix. So it's oh, the conclusion okay. to the first season, basically. They got split into two parts. So we're going to talk about that. That'll be that'll be dropping shortly after you uh, this podcast drops. We also have our Endgame uh, roundtable review. We broke structure from our usual damn you Hollywood, uh, and we just did a roundtable discussion. Chris from the Un- Chris Armstrong from the Unspoken Decade was there. Jesse and Alexis were there, and of course Robert was there as well. And you were there, and you were there. You were all there. <laughs> Shut up, Dorothy. Um, I'm sorry. I just recently saw a production of Wizard of Oz. Uh, so go ahead and check all those out. Plus, you know, because it was Avengers Week, we had Source Material did their iteration on Avengers Endgame, and the author of that book actually retweeted the podcast. So that's pretty cool. Can't beat that. Nope. Awesome. Can't beat that. All right. Well, until Mark can say Uwe Boll, we'll catch you next time. <laughs> Duvet Y'all bowls. have a good one. <laughs> See you later. Uh, bye-bye.